Even if you've never needed a blood transfusion, you're probably familiar with the concept of a blood group. Most of us know about the ABO blood types. They describe what antigens, if any, one's red blood cells have on their surface, while the presence of the rhesus factor determines the positive or negative classification we see after this letter indicator. According to Martin Olson, a transfusion medical researcher at Lund University though, there are more than 400 blood group markers. If an individual is missing a common antigen, they're said to have a rare blood type, though some people may share the same feature. However, some mutations are so rare that only one person possesses that blood type as far as scientists know. Olsen and other researchers study the blood of these people to better understand rare blood groups and identify potential donors. In the meantime, these individuals would have to serve as their own donors by donating and storing their own blood.